It's finally happening, the final phase to fix San Francisco's leaning and sinking Millennium Tower. It's underway. We've obtained an analysis by the team in charge of the fix. That analysis shows, at best, the fix will correct about half of the additional tilting that occurred during the project to stabilize it. Some experts warn that prediction could be overly optimistic. Here's investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken. Here at the Millennium Tower, crews are struggling to keep the water out of the holes they're digging to extend the foundation down to bedrock. Crews are preparing to shore up the building on the two sides where it's leaning the most, tying it to 18 piles already sunk to bedrock. No building should really have that sort of tilt, uh, not a modern building of this nature. Harry Poulos is an internationally recognized expert on tall building foundations. The tower is currently leaning a little bit more than 29 inches at the northwest corner. More than a third of the tilt coming after work on the fix started in 2021. How much is that for people who actually live in the Millennium Tower? Take a look at this marble. An owner rolls it uphill toward the center of an apartment until it runs out of steam and gravity takes over, taking it right back where it started. If I was a resident, I'd still be worried that I can't put something on the table without it rolling off. Although the fix is supposed to provide some relief, the fix engineer's latest computer model shows the $100 million project will only offset a total of four and a half inches of lean. That's less than half the tilt added to the building during the construction project intended to stop it from leaning. The final result is projected to leave the tower secured but still permanently tilting about two feet at the northwest corner. Fix officials say the project will succeed in stopping further settlement and sinking, well before there's any safety concern. In a statement to us, lead fix engineer Ron Hamburger says the primary objectives have always been to arrest building settlement at the northwest corner and stop tilting by transferring a portion of the building's weight to bedrock. Recovery of some of the tilt that has already occurred is a secondary benefit not a primary objective. City experts are satisfied with the model's conclusion, Hamburger told us. But some critics fear the model predictions could be overly optimistic. There's a lot of um, uncertainty. Deep Foundation expert David Williams worries the model doesn't simulate what's actually triggering construction-related sinking or explain why the tower ended up tilting more than the model predicted last year. There's a lot of factors that they have not accounted for. Meanwhile, residents are coming to grips with reality that the building likely will lean forever. But just to make sure about that marble, one owner repeated the test. Once again, it came right back to the northwest corner of the apartment. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News. This has been going on for years, and Jackson has been digging into the problems at the Millennium Tower that entire time. You can find all of his exclusive reports on our website, NBCBayArea.com. Just click on the Investigations tab.